All right, folks. Now for today, there were a bunch of miscellaneous stuff added in the 1.20 patch. So let's cover the hidden stuff first. Now this animation was added to all the servers. That's right, folks. It's a large box, loot box opening animation. It is practically the same, very identical to the autumn golden armory boxes on the Asian server. That's the Asian server. So it is the same box as this one. Practically the same with the dragon scale ribbon thing in the middle. That's the same box. 178 slash 2. 178 slash 2. So are we expecting what they got was the TL7 in this box? Or the Udarni? <laughs> That's not toxic. So Udarni, TL7, Yak Tiger prototype. A bunch of the older tier 8s, but the skins and crew members and decent enough, I guess, but that's a box. So it's not the holiday ops box, guys. We've just been there. It's not these boxes. I mean, it looks close, but it's golden. So yeah, this animation was added and I was digging around the actual folders. So if you go into res, go into packages, go all the way down to... It's very blatant too. Where the hell is it? Event loot box dot package. <laughs> open archive, open event loot box, UI, maps. Uh, just going to any one of these, I guess. Uh, what the hell is this? Yep, that box right there. You see that box? <laughs> this was added to all the servers. Now you cannot see the actual rewards because there are so many hoops and crevices to go through, so. Yeah, you're not going to find out most of the stuff, but it is practically the same box as the Asian servers, TL7. What the hell is this? Ribbon? Ugh. So that is the same box, same animation stuff. I was digging around. There's also a silver box for some reason, so there's likely going to be an event with the boxes, but... Guys, it's just been like, what? <laughs> Two weeks since the freaking auction thing and a month since the lion thing so yeah there's a video for it for some reason but this was added to all the servers you can go check it out on your own uh, package folder thing you just need a 7-zip file to open up this stuff but holy crap info down what the hell yeah there's a bunch of small jpegs um the video files are in a different package, so it's harder to see, but you can see the actual JPEGs or PNG files, for that matter. There are two types of boxes, but that's the animation, so... <clears throat> Ooh, hoo, 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 They got it for October? October, middle of October. And let's quickly it's take a look. Outside. And winter is quickly approaching. This was crazy. Tank, Just it's hot two months right. before Especially holiday ops, and we had this. The event is underway. Now you can receive gift boxes for purchasing special bundles, and in each box you might just find a rare and unique vehicle, such as an exciting new release in World of Tanks, the Tier Nine Premium TL7 Tank Destroyer. This quick and dangerous hunter has the traits of a medium tank. Its turret rotates 360 degrees, and with good speed, it can easily keep up with allies. Its small hull makes this vehicle a difficult target, but the rebounding turret and gun depression angles allow you to take advantage of the terrain. Plus, the dangerous auto loader will reduce your enemies to scrap in just seven seconds. The vehicle has a decent aiming time and good enough penetration and shell velocity to reach any target at any distance. Move from position to position, choose your prey, and unload your magazine. The TL7 is a powerful weapon and it will get even more powerful in your hands. The second newcomer is the Tier 8 Premium Yag Tiger H Tank Destroyer. Ugh. It's impressive hull and armor. It's a Yag Tiger! Tank it's the it's a stock Yag Tiger! It's a menacing 128mm gun from a Ferdinand or Yag Panther 2. With 490 HP of damage per shot, excellent penetration, good damage per minute, surgical precision, and quick aiming, this vehicle doesn't leave the enemy a chance. Finally, the third honored guest of this event is the Udarni. This true assault vehicle is designed for aggressive play. This is scary. It's withstand hits from standard shells of same tier heavy tanks, even without cover. APCR shells penetrate 221 millimeter of armor, while heat shells penetrate as much as 285 millimeter. The Udarni can confidently destroy enemy heavies and receive barely a scratch on the paint of its pike nose. In addition to these three vehicles, six more tier 8 premium vehicles await you in the event. The SDRV-81, Turtle MK-1, ISU-130, IS-5. VK 75.01K and Camp Panzer 07RH. Each of them has its own unique features, but most importantly, they're all sure to earn you credits and XP. Each vehicle has a certain drop rate, but you can definitely get your hands on it. For every 50 boxes open, you are guaranteed to receive one of the nine vehicles, one you don't have. So there is still the guarantee system, which is good. And the rest of the video is about the box, so 200 freaking premium days, holy crap. <laughs> 
So basically, it's the same as Holiday Ops, except you have different vehicles. Not as high of a lineup compared to the five. For Holiday Ops, it's only three, but then again, it's only been two months, guys. <laughs> so are we going to see these on the other servers when the animation and other stuff were added? So we already have the vehicles. We already have the TL7 in the game files. We already have the Udarni. It's already been covered to death. We already been this dead horse like a billion of times. So nothing new there. They just could flip the switch and release this vehicle into the into the masses. So it's already in the game files. All they have to do, turn the switch on, sell the boxes, and there you go. <laughs> it's not exactly a new tank, but this thing did not get nerfed. What the hell is the Udarni? There it is. Yeah, this thing did not get nerfed. The armor is still pretty good, other than the Commander Cupola, which is garbage. But, yep, armor is still good for a IS-7 prototype. One, 150, very well angled to 290 millimeters effective. Holy crap. <laughs> the only weak spot is a Commander Cupola, but this thing is somewhat squirrely moving about, so... We already covered this vehicle, we already covered a bunch of it, so being these dead horse to death is old school, but fine, whatever. So we're likely going to see that. That's the initial secret, I guess, but we thought it was Caravan with the TL or not the with the TL7 and with the TS54 with the double barrel American heavy tank, but guess not. Alright, moving on. What's also interesting is when you go down the actual package folder go all the way back into the crevice packages and all the way down where the hell is it it's so hard to look into the crevice prime gaming content so GUI maps icons tankman icons uh, let's just do big now I haven't seen this guy before I have twine a uh, twine <laughs> twitch prime gaming and uh, Amazon Prime Gaming as well, but never saw this guy before and never saw this guy before I mean, I might have seen this guy. This guy's a little bit more familiar than the other guy, but it also comes with the Shamrock for St. Patrick's Day So big March extended So was this ever available? It might be available prior, but might not have been so I may maybe re misremembering <laughs> I have no idea. Did that? Did I even have these before? But yeah, I mean, we're missing on Prime Gaming for this month. So ever since um, the Terminator stuff finished, there's no more Prime Gaming for World of Tanks. So either they cut that off or something happened. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> do I even have? Let me think, give me a quick second to just basically look around. I don't think we had it. I mean, if we did, I looks very stupid. If we did. <laughs> I mean, you keep the Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime packages symbols in your thingy, so there's no Shamrock. And even though if you miss it, there should be one, right? There should be, I don't know. But I don't see it. So we might see a St. Patrick's Day uh, Prime package coming soon. And also, they did not mention this on the common test. We got new bond items. In the bond shop, <laughs> Beijing Opera 113 for 15,000 bonds. The same bond for a M60 or 121B, but you could get this vehicle for actual credits. Well, technically not the skin, but you can get the 113 for just six million credits. Doesn't come with the skin, and also does not come with the crew members. It does get a Bertazzi Arms full crew. So based on the Beijing Opera, but I mean, at least you should have that for that much bonds, right? <laughs> for that much bonds, it should have it. <laughs> but also you get the the Lori 40T, which was a normal tier 9 to convert it to a tier 8 premium. So funny how when they switched the British tanks, we got the premium version, the FE4202. And yet when they switched the Lori with the Batchet 25T AP, uh, no, we did not get this vehicle as a premium for free. That sucks. <laughs> that was all the way back in like, what? Seven years ago? Eight years ago? 
did not get it for free. Now you can buy it for 8,000 bonds. Also, this vehicle, which is super rare. It's a collector's item. Originally packaged into... Was it packaged into like... The hard copies of World of Tanks? I have no idea, but it is very special. It is pretty rare. It is like a Comet, just not as fast to rev up. So, it has been in the game files for centuries. Decent enough of a 75mm, I guess. 76. But, yeah. If it had like 20-ish, 25-ish horsepower per ton ratio, it might be American Comet at tier 7. But for now, it has better terrain resistance than the Comet. Just not as good horsepower per ton ratio. So, it's like a baby version of a T20 or so. Just with a smaller caliber of a gun. It's interesting. I mean, it's a collector's item. 6,000 bonds is not that much. But then again, why not save it for a lion or something? <laughs> Alright, moving on. You also have the new tournament stuff in the tabs. Click on it to play 1 versus 1. Is there 1 versus 1 tier 8s? There is 1 versus 1 tier 8s. Weekday shuffle for gold and free XP. You'll see a lot of BZ176 there. <laughs> And challenges, I have no idea where the hell that goes to, no wonder. Alright, moving on to the final. Monthly, what monthly now, Ahoy, not That's what Chester weekly. Now you might be wondering, why am I speaking Czech? Well, because I am here at the Wargaming Prague studio, and I'm gearing up to tell you everything that's happening in World of Tanks PC this March. Now, there is a lot going on, and since I'm here at the studio, I figured why not gather up some familiar faces and have them help me tell you just what's happening in March. So, without further ado, I'm Commander F, and this is What Monthly. Update 1.20 is nearly here, and here's what to expect. First, we've got a brand new summer map. I do wish course, they put the freaking timestamps. You should know that it's one of the top footed maps from Recon Mission. It's sunny. I already know most of those stuff. Now, what should hear is a little bit about map and vehicle rebalancing. Uh, we're going to see changes okay, to three maps of the mine steps and airfield, and then 20 there. vehicles are going to be enhanced. And yes, that does include some lower tier vehicles. And I don't have time to go through all of the changes here, so I'm going to point you guys to the official article. But I do want to point out that there are some notable buffs happening to a few. And it has all the usual mechanics that you're battle used to. Battle pass you can stuff. Still up the yada pass yada. Battle yeah, pass battle pass you stuff. Spend those hard fought battle pass points on oh. bonds. Let's take a look at the stuff for bonds, because I haven't done to. Just to be sure. So basically, we are missing out on season eight stuff because of licensing issue, obviously. But uh, item for points, item for tokens. It's the same cost, higher cost for these vehicles because of the scrapbook. Collector book thingy. So I already mentioned that. Item for points. Season 7 and Season 9 are added. So if you miss out, you could get those vehicles or the skins for those vehicles. Also with the crew members. Season 9 and Season 7 as well. And there's nothing else. <laughs> Bomb bundles are pretty much... Garbage, but then again, you have nothing else to spend it on if you already play all the freaking battle passes. So, you should have collected everything. Everything from the years prior, so you can only get stuff for bonds. Or get bonds now, but... Okay, small details. Why is it so expensive? Inflated cost. Alright, jump ahead. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. What is interesting is... What kind of resolution are you running? Jesus, you're a developer. Okay, well, I found Ixa, and believe it or not, he's sitting at his desk playing. He just opened up the screen. He just flipped it on. He's not, he wasn't playing. Just like, oh, we're doing a video. Also, the resolution is garbage. It's like what? 1024 by 768? <laughs> also, the graphics are terrible. Oh, what the hell? That's a, that's a freaking th stock picture you're putting up. <laughs> World of Tanks. Hello, He's not playing World of Tanks. He's just showing it. Oh, okay. And what tanks are involved in that is the mouse and Udo's 15, 16. Super cute. Um. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Pink camo. Yes. You should not be limited to women. Everybody should have it. So no hogging up the pink camos. <laughs> so watch the streams for Pink Camo. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. For everything happening in March. Also looks like there's no code anymore, so that doesn't matter that much. Well, there you go, folks. That's a big one. <laughs> Some miscellaneous stuff from patch 1.20. So the most interesting is obviously the animation for the large boxes. I mean, come on, guys. They have been real greedy <laughs> with the monetization. It's only been two weeks since auction and a month since the Lion stuff assembly shop. 
And if you're going to put this out in the middle of battle pass, I mean... Jesus Christ, you guys are going super aggressive <laughs> with the monetization. You can go take a look in the actual game folders. So as I mentioned, going to... Uh, what the hell, it's so hard to find the crevice. <laughs> Event loot boxes. GUIs are basically images. Maps. Uh, re rewards. They were already okay. There you go, that's the same box. So, it's not holiday ops. That is the box right there. That is the asset. Go take a look. Now, as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm